you want to knock it off, we got work to do here. Hey, welcome back to Weld.com. Today we're going to be doing some 309 in the 2F position, meaning horizontal. So we're going to run some stainless steel to A36 steel. This time, we're going horizontal. I'm going to show you guys what to do and what to avoid. All right, guys, for those of you that helped us out trying to reach Sam the cooking guy last Friday, we definitely appreciate it. However, we still need your support. He hasn't responded to us. So go ahead, drop by the uh, Instagram section, maybe throw him a DM, comment on some of his most recent posts, check out his new video, comment there, let him know we want to build the grill. Let's make it happen. All right, got everything set up. I got my 304 stainless on the bottom, A36 steel on the top. I'm going to go ahead and use a stubby rod to tack these up. There's no point in using a whole rod if I just have a little bit of work to do. Stubbies are great, you know, for tack work and then uh, finishing off short little welding areas so you're not busting out a full rod. Okay, so like I said in the intro, I'm going to have a much steeper work angle here. So as you can see from the arc shots, I'm not at a 45 degree angle. I'm probably at 65 to 70 degree angle favoring more towards the bottom plate, which is where that stainless steel is. I want to focus a little bit more of my attention and uh, my position into that stainless steel. It's naturally going to flow into the, the steel. Um, it ties into that pretty well, but if I don't focus enough attention in the direction of that stainless steel, I'm going to get uh, lack of fusion and possibly some sag inclusions, which I do not want. All right, so as you can see, I got a good tie-in along the stainless steel side, good wetting into the toe, as well as the A36 or the steel side, the vertical leg. I got equal leg lengths on both which is what I was shooting for even though I focused more of my time and attention on the bottom plate and just kind of feathered that puddle up, kind of washed it up against that steel. It goes in there really easy. Like I said in the previous video, stainless steel has a, uh, a different rate of thermal conductivity. So it's not as thermally conductive as your steel. So it's going to retain heat, takes a little bit more to heat it up, a little bit longer for it to cool down. Uh, it's just a, a more dense material. So that's why you have to focus a lot more of that attention and heat that bottom plate or if it was in the vertical position you'd want to focus more on the vertical side. So now I'm going to show you exactly uh, what happens if I hold that uh, a work angle of 45 degrees very similar to what I would do for like a 7018 on 7018 rod on uh, steel to steel connection. Okay, now I'm going to hold this at a 45 degree work angle which would be equal to the stainless and the steel plate. Okay, notice on the previous weld, it turned out pretty decent. I maintained about a 65 to 70 degree travel angle. This one's at a 45, very similar to what you'd run a regular 7018 at for a steel to steel connection. Alright, so as you can see right up in this area and two spots right here and here, I got lack of fusion in there. Same thing we talked about in uh, well, Defects 3. You want to try to avoid that. With this case, focus a little bit more time and attention to the stainless steel side. You shouldn't have any problems. Just wash that puddle up against the steel and on the, uh, the vertical leg and you should be good to go. Alright, as always, thanks for watching. Until next time, make every well better than your last.